Hello YouTube. I've been having a problem with a corrupted AVI file. In my case, it's because a recording has stopped abruptly. The file's not been written properly and it's broken. That's a common cause, an abruptly stopped recording, and many causes that are going to leave you with a corrupted AVI file. You would try and use it, for example. I'm trying to import this into Premiere Pro to make a YouTube video. It was a run of a dungeon I did in Final Fantasy XIV. And you will get something along these lines, unsupported format or damaged file. Oh no! But it may be recoverable. The first thing you should try is opening it in VLC Media Player. If it's got a damaged header, which is the most common cause of corruption in an AVI file, that may be able to fix it. If it doesn't fix it automatically for you when you try and open it, it will ask you if you want it fixed then. So try that. In my case, I know that that doesn't work, so we're going to have to take slightly harsher measures. So you need to download yourself a Virtua Dub mod and put it somewhere you can remember where it is, unlike me. There we go. Um, I might put the link to it in the description if I can be bothered, but it's quite easy to find if you just Google Virtua Dub mod. You need to be trying to open the file in this program. You don't have to go through the file open down long. You can just drag and drop and you will get this message here. Reconstructing missing index block, aggressive mode. Now this does actually take quite a while to do. So I'm going to leave this running and then I'll show you what to do afterwards when that's finished. Okay, so that's finished now and you presented with a dialog box, something like this, virtual dub warning, blah, blah, blah. Uh, just click OK. Then what you need to do is click on video and change it to direct stream copy. Then file, save as. And just give it a name. You usually stick with a similar name and fixed on the end or uh, something like that. So there's my original one. I shall append that with fixed and you just click save. And it's doing a direct stream copy, which just means it will copy it as it is into another AVI file. It's taking the actual footage out of this file and just wrapping it in another AVI container, a new one, which won't be corrupted. Now there's a possibility some of the actual frames in the footage will be corrupted. It could be fine, it could be unusable. But you do this, leave it running, have a look at what you've got, and hopefully uh, you will have recovered it. Now, yet again, this is going to take me a while. Obviously, it depends on the size of the file. Uh, once you've done that, just go ahead and open up the file. I've had varying degrees of success with this. From a 40 minute file, I've got it all back and it's been completely usable. And that one I just tried there was 30 odd minutes long and I got six minutes back and it was completely unusable. So fingers crossed and I wish you luck and I hope you found this helpful.